Today we're going to count down top 5 creepypastas that may have some truth to them. Coming at number 5 is The Rake. In 2003, in the Northeast United States, there was an incident involving a strange human-like creature. Uh, the more people looked into it, apparently, the more it came to the conclusion that it was a creature dating way back to even the 12th century, but I couldn't find any actual proof that it dated back to the 12th century. What I did find that there was real sightings that were really reported uh, by local news stations. I mean, a couple theories is it could be this weird creature from South America, or it could just be a malnourished person, because it is kind of humanoid looking. Those are both potential theories, or it could be a real thing that's out there, who knows. Coming in at number four is the Capgris Delusion. This is a psychological condition where someone is convinced that when they leave, everything is replaced by an exact copy. Not only was this interpreted into a creepypasta, it is a very, very real condition that exists, so there's no offense or buts. It's, it's more of a mental disorder that's actually real that someone decided to write about in a creepypasta. Coming in at number three is Polybius, or Polybius, whatever you want to call it. Uh, most people that are into stuff like this already know about it, but it's an arcade game that was only released for a month in the suburbs of Portland, Oregon in 1981. Anyone who played it suffered from anything from epilepsy to night terrors. There was even rumors of suicides that happened due to the game. Uh, allegedly, there was people who came in in black and, uh, you know, checked it and stuff for data. And supposedly, not only that, but Nintendo had to re like direct a correlation with the creation of the game. And the theory is that they have it hidden off in their in their vault. I mean, who knows, there's rarely any pictures of it, and most of the pictures that are released are debunked as fakes, but there are sheer numbers that say that this existed, so you never know. Coming in at number two is Robert the Doll. Robert the Doll, I've already talked about it in a creepypasta, so I'll link that up now, but Robert the Doll is basically a doll that had some history behind it, which is described in, in another video I did. Now he's at a museum, and supposedly if you ask his picture, ask for his picture, He'll, you know, and you could take it and everything will be fine. If you mock him, though, you know, bad luck will come your way. The doll has a definite story behind it, whether you believe it or not, and it has been interpreted into a creepypasta, so, yeah. And coming in at number one is the story Little Pick Backpack. Uh, it's had a few different titles, but it generally involves a lost backpack of a little girl, and inside the backpack is uh, pictures with writing on it, about this imaginary friend named Elisa, and as you read more and more of these uh, these pictures, the, the, the story, uh, the entity becomes more and more scary, uh, it gets more and more disturbing and menacing, proving or implying that it's a dark entity and not an imaginary friend. There's no real way to say whether it's true or not, but it does look like a drawing and writing that a little girl would do and it adds believability to it, hence there's a huge amount of people that think it's real to some extent, and just because of the sheer numbers of people that are convinced, that's why it's on this list, and due to the sheer terror of the story, that's also why it's number one, so. Thanks for watching the quick video, uh, I'll have links up for more creepypastas or top ten lists if you want to be spooked, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.